Hello everyone, I'm Decidious and welcome back to Dex. We are looking for... Well, we're gonna finish up Sam's quest. Which I'm pretty sure... Oh! Oh, I thought I'd get hurt there. Is just telling the lady that he's... Goo. General store? I think that's where she is. Howdy do, stranger. Happy to be seeing you again. Found Finch, she's dead. I'm sorry. Dead? Your poem mine shavings. What what happened? Where was he? Deep down in the sewers, his body was dumped there. Not sure what happened yet. Well, I never. Sounds like he got himself wet. Fancy tangling up his numericals and business of that kind. For your own sake, I'd stop your sniffing right there. You've done plenty. Any more you might find trouble yourself. How do you do, stranger? How what do you got while I'm here? Four dollars for a roll of toilet paper. That's like now. Don't need another gun. Takes level four range. Low damage, high rate of fire. I need seeds for kebab, man. Ooh, what's up here? Literally nothing. There's lots of places with nothing. Cop that'll. I'm helping. Welcome back, miss. What are you stalking? The EMP gun. For when stopped, is as good as dead. I should almost buy one of those. Anything good in here? Oh no, this is the lady's place. She isn't helping me. Your mom, who still hasn't gotten that surgery. Now, I don't come over here very often. Ma'am, madam, milady, what'll be your taste? Guns, C band, intel, uppers, downers, flip your head around us. Me, I'm your man. Aren't you a bit young to be dealing that kind of stuff? With all due respect, ma'am, from my experience, there ain't no young on the street. They survive and theirs or don't. Now how might I be of service to you? I need a counter drug to endos endozine. Some high grade material you're asking for me, lady. I don't have counter endozine, but I'm fully stocked with endozine. Just you gotta stay wired. 300 for your pleasure. How's that sound? Uh I think I need endozine to get the counter agent. Milady, what will be your What do you got? Data cube, data chip. I hate walking away from data cubes. You got no guns. Anything fun? Oh, Aphrodite is where uh they're supposed to pick up drugs. Like people. Shame. Crying shame. She was one of the good ones. One of the best. Somebody die? What? No. The restaurant was one of the good ones. They're shutting her down. Farewell, Tagliatelli Al Salmone. Gonna miss you. Name's AJ, by the way. Why are they closing? Shh, not so loud. Shut a tear, sure, but don't let them see you asking questions. They'll have eyes out right now, for sure. If you okay. want to talk wise, come. We can go to the Nightingale over there. It's a dump, but it's got more privacy than a black hole. Okay? Okay. Let's talk. Whoa. Suddenly in Don't here. Don't worry. I'm not trying to hit on you. This dump is the last place I'd take a girl on a date. I'm not worried. Good. Anyway, that restaurant back there? Eden? Quarantined. Never told me why you're so interested in this story. A restaurant was corny and somebody died of food poisoning or something. Uh... 
I thought it was obvious. Everyone all over knows my game. I'm a reporter. Old school overthrow, that's me. Started my own news agency. Ah. Still uh, a one girl show right now. Well, two if ah. I include you. I do my own running after scoops, dig in the dirt, you know. Finger on the street pulse, old school, baby. Not like those hackers in their mama's basements fighting for a freedom they'll never go outside to see. <laughs> Work sounds almost romantic. Fearless makes me hot. Hackers get results by staying hidden, no? What you're doing sounds risky. Eh. You and I gotta hang out someday, girl. <laughs> well, I wasn't always like this. Used to work for the system. Fat News Corp, fat salary. But any story trickier than a cat up a tree, and they buried it. No, I'm meant to be my own boss in this line of work. And sure, there are risks, but it's all about staying a nuisance, not a threat. That and knowing who you can walk over, who you can't. It's true, I'm on everyone's radar, but known faces are hard to cap. Remember? That's true. Restaurant was quarantined. Someone die of food poisoning or something? No idea. They've got a tighter lid on this than an elephant on a manhole. I did some probing. This is my neighborhood, see. And found out that Eden got shut down after an impromptu health inspection. Huh. Why so suspicious? Could just be cockroaches in the kitchen. You think there's some sort of hidden agenda? Okay. Listen. Biofarm Tech did the inspection. Got their own agents. But guess who was the food supplier for Eden? Biofarm Tech. Now, why would they shut down one of their own customers? Why not just fix a health problem if they find one? Hmm. Bad blood cover up? Who knows? Somebody does. Who's Biofarm Tech so exactly? That's it. You're here from another time, another dimension. Don't they have corporations where you're from? <laughs> Biofarm Tech is only the biggest organic food company in the world. The last truly ethical one, they'll say. And they've got fair trade, animal welfare, and charity programs to prove it. And where's the catch? Girl after my own heart. The whole thing's a catch. Most people lap up their PR like kittens around cream. We're so desperate to see a corporation that won't screw its own mother for better margins that the whole town's painting rainbows over Biofarm. That sounds but true. You can bet there's nothing but pots of gold underneath it all. What's the plan? How are you going to find out how, what happened to Eden? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm kind of stuck right now. I tried speaking to the owner of Eden, but it's obvious he got paid to keep his mouth shut. And my informants are just as in the dark as I am. And to make matters worse, the suits at Biofarm know me. Not the first time I've lifted their skirts. If I showed up at their office, they'd sooner toss me out of the window than talk to me. But you, you could help. Ah. You said you had a network of informants, so why me? Well, informants sounds fancy, but it really means meatheads, pros, and narc runners. Ones I know won't get as far as the Biofarm lobby without security turning them right back out. You're at least presentable and you have wits enough to wangle some intel i'm sure okay i'll help what do you want me to do awesome right their main office is in high rise so start there ask a few questions be subtle though don't barge in throwing around accusations doubt you'll turn up anything but give it your best shot and whatever you learn come back and report Alrighty then Anyone here? Ooh, who are you? Oh, darling, don't be shy. Well, a little autograph ain't no thing. What's your name, honey? Uh, autograph, I'm sorry, I'm not sure I know who you are. Of course you don't. Different times, different worlds. Nowadays, young'uns listening to nothing but neuro beats and sound walls. That doesn't sound pleasant. Barbara, don't ring any sort of bell in there at all. Well, you can bet your mom's twerking tush she was a fan. Uh. Dang it, maybe it's better if I'm out of the sweet spot of that limelight for a while. Being a star can be a cross to bear, ain't no mistaken. can imagine all the money, especially Burnham some. Perhaps I can help? You don't seem to har be harassed by fans or anything. Ha ha! Eh. Listen to you with the quick liquor. Well, you can see plain as day, I got me rid of that problem a long time ago. The troubles don't stop coming, just with different faces. How so? Oh, nothing I should be bothering a youngin' like you with. Just some 
Looney Tune fan, taken to sending me threats and other nonsense. Ah. I'd give it no time of day, but she, uh, I'm guessing it's a she, uh -huh. has the audaciousness to be sliding the letters under my door. How about that? Sure don't make a home feel much like a home. What do the letters say? Just ramblings, accusing me of stuff I never did, threatening to get me or replace me, would you believe? Huh. Now I might be able to help if you like. Oh, aren't you the sweetest thing? Sure. So, I've been doing some real hard thinking. And you know what? I reckon this pen pal of mine lives in my neighborhood. Probably. I mean, how else could she drop letters off at my place every day? Now, something tells me you ain't stupid either. Maybe you could snoop around dig out who's behind this is it you my building is number 39 in high rise and here's the letter she wrote me just yesterday maybe you'll figure something i missed okay let's take a look at said letter i'll be the new you a better you Whoever wrote this is clearly no fan of crime films if you're going to send threat letters use newspaper cutouts not your own handwriting they double cross the T's. Betting that's the clue. Oh, I guess I could, good thing I didn't go into the Nightingale. I do have to go into Aphrodite. But I wanna check places first. Ah, let's just break my way in here. Wait, isn't this my apartment? Life beyond augmentations, repairing our body organically. Which is why in the near future we could possibly repair our organisms, whether on, at an organ tissue or cellular level. We've been able to artificially grow human organs in laboratories for a couple decades already, and in rec we have recently reached encouraging new milestones in our research for molecular level regeneration. Thinking beyond that is realistic to contemplate developing naturally enhanced organs such as stronger arms or keener eyes without the need for mechanical implants. R&D departments of several mega corporations have already begun sh to shift their priorities such as Pansea Group, which would greatly benefit from... I guess I don't get to finish reading it. Surprise, Ellie to Lane. Lane, I've got some great news. I got the job. We're officially going to work on you know what. Isn't that great? You and I, just like always, made sure to explain that they, if they wanted us, they had to hire both. And they know from our track record we work much better as a team. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Couldn't wait to let you know. Say hi to Jessica for me. My deepest condolences to Jessica. From the same person. Dear Jessica, I want to offer my sincere condolences for Lane's passing. Oh! You know how close he and I were. I always considered him the brother I never had, and I'm not and I'm truly devastated by what happened. Hope you're not paying attention to what these vultures in the media are saying about him. We both know he was an upright, honest man. He always talked about you with spark in his eyes. I'm sure from whatever he is now, he's watching over you. If you ever need to talk or shoulder a cry on, I'm here for you. So did Jessica kill him, or did the mega corporation that they got hired by kill him? Oh, what's that? Famed scientist found dead. Ties with organized crime. Shocking discovery made this morning as one of Samio Inc.'s most prominent scientists was found lifeless in a back alley near Afterlight Boulevard. Lane Calderson, 36, was one of the company's lead researchers, and his death will surely prove to be a setback to Samuel's near future operations. I need a drink. Oh, the talking dried my mouth out. Circumstances of his demise are troubling, however. Calderson's body was brutally battered, with a symbol crudely carved on his bloody forehead. A symbol now identified is that of the Cedars, a local gang dealing with mostly in drugs, black market augmentations. 
What was Calderson doing in this part of town in the first place? Known for its seedy bars and clubs. Was this murder more of than just a case of wrong place, wrong time? Was he involved in the dealings with the gang? And was his death a warning to others who crossed them? Full story may never be revealed, but our investigative journalists will follow the story closely as it unfolds. Okay, so the Cedars got someone else. They also have those augments that I need. First time on high rise. Is it gonna look fun? Enter go. How much inner go do I need? Uh, I think 50 would be enough to... Oh, that's why. Let's go to floor one. Cameras. There's some stuff, but there is no one in this building. Okay, then let's just make ourselves at home. $25, some Energo, Data Shield, can't close the door, Floor 2, just loot an entire building. Oh, this one's empty. What's in here? I am hoping that is a design and someone isn't murdered on each floor. Let me guess, this one's gonna be level 2 pick lock. Pick lock? So if I didn't have it, I could just jump up here. Oh. But I am a lock picking master. That's not a thing. Old CD of Barb. Oh, this is receipt for facial surgery. Oh, poster of Barbara. Camellia's note. Appointment with Echo Corp tomorrow. Implant installation. All double cross T's. Cute handwriting too. Holy. Okay, Dad's birthday. Camille, we're expecting you next month for your father's birthday. Hope you won't forget this time. I'll be honest, we're starting to get worried. We haven't seen you in a while now. I'm thinking of coming over to visit next week. Maybe. Since you won't even vid chat us anymore, what do you think? It's because she doesn't have her own face anymore. Mom, no, don't come over. Please, I'm fine, I swear. I'm just very busy these days. I'm trying to make it best for Dad's birthday. I'll... Don't worry. People don't say vid chat anymore, Mom. Get with the times. Barbara fan forever. Hey, Cam Cam Camilla. What happened to you? Your fan site was the best. I loved all the exclusive pics and stories about Barbara you put on there. Why'd you close it down? Ah, so that's what it is. Thanks for the kind words. Unfortunately, I've decided to suspend the website for a time. I'll keep you updated when the right moment comes. Thanks for your reply. Right moment comes. Sounds like something is on the horizon. Pray tell. Indeed, I will not say more, only that something is emerging on the horizon, you are right. Something keeps us Barbara... Barbara doors? Are owed. Expect change. Keep your ears to the ground. In other words, she's planning on replacing her. She doesn't hate her, she's just a super obsessed fan. Who thinks she can now do a better job. How do I... Whoop. That's how you sneak in. Press for delayed payment to Barbara. Miss Barbara Sullivan, in regards to your previous conversation, I regret to inform you that your request for payment extension has been declined. We ask that you transfer the sum of 14,000 credits to the account before the date. If you fail to comply, we'll be forced to take necessary action, including the repossession of the items you purchased. Interest will continue to occur as per our contract. I'll take that poster. 
Ooh, last album fails to conquer charts. Voice is still one of a kind thanks to her recent vocal enhancement. Ah, but the former teen queen of pop remains firmly stuck in a simpler past where music was about little more than catchy melodies and simple lyrics. The rise of new music genres, which fuse multiple sensorial experiences through implant innovations such as Apple Cork's Neurobeats, Barbara's music feels more than just antiquated, it feels limited and restricted. Her ever-shrinking fanbase may encourage may encourageously com campaign on social media for a comeback of real music, but their plans are likely to fail fall on deaf, e deaf ears among today's youth. Ooh, threat letter. You're finished. I am next. Some champagne. Another threat letter. I will expose you. Or is... So it might not be a thing. It might be a... What's it called? Could be a scam they're setting up. Ooh, wedge, some neuro stims, a hundred bucks. Oh, this place was useful. Oh, there's something on the floor. Another threat letter. You betrayed us all. Oh, she probably upgraded her. They probably think it's bad when she upgraded to a her voice or something. Okay, camera, turret, turret, turret. Huh. Okay then, let's do this. Holy jeez! Get me out of here! Ah! Oh, they hit space instead! Not one camera saw me, but this turret doesn't matter. What do we got? New patent case won by Biofarm Tech. Farm Tech. In their latest legal battle, Biofarm scored a major win against Unifoods when they reversed the federal court's judgment of invalidating their newest product, Purple Ace. That's really annoying. Biofarm's Ace Attorney Miranda Porowski unexpectedly used a loophole in Section 105B of the Plant Patient Patent Act, forcing the court to reprimand the case until further notice. What this means for Unifoods is that they will be forced to pay a license fee should they wish to grow beet roots of the Purple Ace variety. These beets reach maturity in only six days, breaking the nine-day record previously held by Unifoods' own Boston Bright variety. Oh, damn, those three days. If they're set to grow every day, it wouldn't matter. Ms. Pirarski declared, We are encouraged by today's decision and will continue to explore all available avenues to defend our intellectual property. We will not allow competing companies to steal fruit from our scientists' labor. Give me that champagne. Icar Corp. Loses trial. Redwood Watts ordered to shut down immediately. After weeks of well-publicized trial, replacement prosecutor Miranda Plowski won the case, which many thought would be buried under pressure from the wealthy Icor Corporation. Its leading research facility, Redwood Watts, opened a few years ago and featuring state-of-the-art technology security systems was ordered shut down after a series of mysterious, deadly accidents occurred. Plowski was faced with an uphill battle, representing the citizens of Harbor Prime against the mighty Icor Corp. Similar, similar cases have been closed in the past due to financial pressure from the defendants, which many claimed was proof of ever-growing corruption within the legal system. How, this time, however, due to compelling evidence produced by Ms. Porowski, such 
as detailed schematics of the security system and video footage of some of the accidents. Denial was impossible and the judge ordered Icker Corp to abandon its facility and pay sizable fines to the victims' families. How the prosecutor managed to procure this evidence remains unknown, but also signs point to deep-rooted connections. Yeah, those are some, uh, really deep-rooted connections. Oh, look, stimulant pills. Let's wait out here for the alarms to turn off. Oh, you just walk right up there, huh? What was that? Oh, climb. I'm gonna... I could jump. I wonder where that would lead me. I guess to the ground. Is this done yet? This is done. Whoa, what? Okay, I'm gonna go back in and... Oh! Apparently this gun can see me. These viruses don't play around. Oh, wrong button again. Jeez, I can't hit the alt button if my life depends on it, which it kinda does. One more time. Gotta get the viruses and take out the black hole before they can all kill me and the thing shuts down. God damn it, I hit the wrong button again! Why can't I just hit the alt button when it's easy? What do we got? We got a nice little safe here. $300 Miranda's PDA. Ooh, that'll be handy. Some noodles, some wine. Could use both of those. Her PC and a window I can jump out of. Um, I'm gonna log back out simply because I don't want to go in with this little focus. You know, if there's a no damage augment. That would be an interesting jump. Uh, let's see. I need items. Let's use an Energo. Stimulant dose. Eat her noodles. And where are... Get some focus. I forget what they're called. There's the black hole. Bugs and worms. Bugs. 
Ah, there's the back door. I wonder what kind of infant this could be. Important case assignment for Mike. Miss Per Prawoski, okay. One of our most dearly beloved associates, City Magistrate Dominic Carmichael, is being wrongly accused of, and it pains us to even have to write these words, sexual assault on a young woman. Oh yay. The claims are outrageous, as you can imagine, but the alleged victim is backing her accusation with realistically falsified evidence. Even after some consideration, we feel it would be best equipped to lead the defense. You would. We hope you'll see it as a welcome departure from your usual prosecution work. We will of course provide you with all the counter evidence you need. We are certain you will manage to defend our friend successfully and an innocent man's life is at stake. I'm sure it is. Whee. Okay, it's just the computer's edge. Oh, that is a turret. That is a black hole. You can just be destroyed. As can you. Oh yay, twenty dollars. Whoa! We'll just take care of that. Another twenty dollars. Oh, bug. Bugs, 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 viruses. Come on, break. And we take out all these. Oh! I can't say security isn't tight. More viruses and bugs. Ooh, that's a dangerous place to be. security which is probably both good and bad for me holy okay I wholly expected there to be a black hole in here too Just won't give up. Four. There we go. These little guys are easy to deal with. They just take one shot. It's the ones that shoot back that are the issue. Holy. Implications of Icor Corp case. We're aware that the Icor Corp case is placing you in a difficult situation, considering that your own husband was directly responsible for the series of tragic events. Oh, that would be how she knows. We must nonetheless remind you how vital it is for you to win this case in the name of justice. Yes, also your own sake, should you refuse to use the evidence we provided you, we will be left with no alternative but to retaliate and expose your husband's involvement directly to the press. Consequences for both his career and his life would be tragic, as he would surely face a life sentence for the death of so many Icarcorp employees. 
You pigs, all the evidence is fabricated. You know as well as I do that my husband is in no way responsible for these accidents. You're framing him, framing Icar Corp. Miss Perowski, we are surprised by your outrageous claims, but we will ascribe them to your understandably high emotional state. You must know that there are obviously other prosecutors who would love to take the case off your hands. We are simply offering you a lucrative deal. Should you win the case, you could consider a career as a private attorney for our conglomerate. We would also do everything in our power to ensure your husband continues to live as fr a free man. Should you refuse or lose the case, however, we will not be able to guarantee your safety or his. Fun. Lots of fun. That's the way back out. So now we know this person isn't doing all the hacking for people. She's being blackmailed into doing it. What is that noise? Okay, I don't know if that's in the game or if that's my headphones. Miss Porosky, congratulations on your successful handling of the Biofirm Tech case. I know you're aware of the implications of a loss would have had on financial situation of the company as well as the presence in the Asian markets. Please be assured your payment will be transferred soon and we will be in touch to acquire your services again. I honestly can't tell wh where that noise is coming from. I think it's my headphones. I guess you'll got, you guys will know or not. I'll know in a second. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's my headphones. Which means you can't hear it at all. It sounds like I'm being chased by an old printer. Apparently I have a bad connection somewhere. Hey, it's Echo Corp. And Biofarm. What's at the very end? It just stops. Okay, well, we've gotten a whole bunch of information on several people and corporations. Because who knew they were evil? Oh, I was hoping that was a thing. Well, we will leave it here. I will see you guys next time. As I fix whatever's wrong with my headphones, hopefully. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!